A manufacturer of a ring wants to prove that the size of the ring is significantly greater than 4 mm. He conducted an experiment in which he collected the data for 100 class rings whose mean size is 4.2 mm. If the population standard deviation of the size of the ring is 1.5 mm, then with 90% confidence level, the teacher will most likely reject the null hypothesis, accept the null hypothesis, cannot reach any conclusion as the sample standard deviation is not given. Now in, in this case, since the sample size 100 is greater than 30 and the population variance is given, the population standard deviation of the population variance is given, so we can apply the Z test irrespective of whether the distribution is normal or not. So in this case, my null hypothesis is mu is greater than mu naught where mu is equal to 4.2 mm and mu naught is equal to 4 mm and my alternate hypothesis will be mu is less than equal to mu naught so it is a one tail test one tail test so in this case my z score will be equal to mu minus mu naught divided by the population standard deviation divided by the root over root of the number of observations taken. So it will be equal to 4.15 minus 4 divided by the standard deviation that is 1.5 and this divided by square root of 100 that is equal to 10. So which will be equal to 1. Now since it is a one tail test, so the since it is a one tail test, so the critical value of the Z or the Z score corresponding to 90% confidence level is equal to 1.28 critical value the Z corresponding to the critical value is equal to 0 0.28 and the Z score is 1 so in this case the null hypothesis is accepted because the Z score is less than the Z critical value and the Z critical value is equal to 1.28 so the correct option is option B that the null hypothesis hypothesis should be accepted.